Hi, this is Marzipan. Leave me a message and I'll get right back to you. Hey, leave me a message and I'll get right back to you. Hey, leave me a message. Hey there, Marzipan, it's called Z. Whee! Look at me, I'm called Z. Oh, I know I'm a poet, though. I apologize. I, I, I'm over at Bob's place. So we're just hanging out here, having a good time, you know. Good time times three makes one, two, code Z. See, I told you I was a poet now. Uh, so anyways, like I say, we're just hanging out over here, having a great time, and I started thinking about you. Because I always have such a great time with you, because you're such, you're such a beautiful person, and you just, you're so perfect, and you know, I could ask for more as a lady, and, oh jeez, I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. Bruh, hello, my sweet pain, it's Hansar. Uh, would you call in to thank you for the flowers you sent me while I was in the hospital? Uh, I'm feeling much better now, but I still can't feel my legs. Okay, bye bye. <clears throat> Cheerio there, Mrs. Pan. This is Constable Anybody over here at the Royal Society for Total Dorks. We would like to welcome you to our prestigious society. In fact, we want to make you freaking president. <laughs> <coughs> yes, so all you have to do is uh, go to your window and stick a couple of pencils up your nose. And <laughs> Then you'll be the president. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cause I'm so British. Hey there, Marzipan. It's Coach Z. Uh, so Bubs tells me I gave you a call last night uh, in the wee hours there. Um, I'm not too sure what I may have said, but I'd like to apologize. Make kind of a blanket apology. Cover the whole thing there. Like one of them... Blankets you put on a fire, you know, when the when you're burning leaves in the backyard and it gets out of hand, then you know you gotta throw that blanket over here. That's what this apology is here. So uh hope I didn't offend you or say anything out of turn there. Though I suppose you can't really say nothing out of turn on a machine, right? Because you know when's your turn on the answer machine? Not not till you call back. Okay, so now I'm just rambling, but uh. I am still a poet, and, uh, and don't I know it. Good evening, sir or madam. My name is Holmes Dolwaddle. I represent distinguished businessmen. Are you getting the lowest wage from your long distance provider? I can give you wages as low as anybody. Seriously, I don't know what they are, but I probably can give them to you. Um... Here's one. Beep! <laughs> no, that was just me pressing the phone. Okay, it wasn't even me pressing the phone, it was just me saying beep! Uh, I can provide you with other stuff too, like this pen on my desk. Or like these post-its. This is great. Am I getting paid for this, really? Um, doodly dee dee ba dee 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 Oh, hey, Marzipan, guess who this is at Strong said. I was just calling because I figured you wouldn't be home, and I'd never done that thing, you know, where you call somebody and you're leaving a message on their machine, and then while you're leaving the message, they pick up the phone, and it's like, oh, hey, hi, I was just leaving you a message, you know, how are you doing? And so, see, I never had that happen to me, so I thought I'd just call you and talk to Talk to your machine till you get home. So that's what I'm going to do. Hello? Hello? Marzipan? Hello?